demonstrate uh, you on how we can create a PEM files and how we can use that with the RZLTS portal. So it uh, has main six steps to go. The first one is to how we can create an app ID with Apple Developer Portal. And if you have already created, just ignore this step and go to the next step. That is uh, how we can create app PNS certificates for development and distribution. And then we have to import those certificates into our keychain. Then we we have to create a P12 file from those certificates, and then using that P12 file, we can generate a PEM file, and then that PEM file will be used with uh, by the RZLTS portal. So let's get started from step number one, which is uh, how we can create an app ID with the Apple Developer Portal. Okay, so. Here it is, uh, open up developer.apple.com and go to member center, the, the screen will be appear. Log in to with your Apple ID and password. Okay, go to certificates, identifiers and profiles. Okay, into identifier section. We need to create a new one if you have not already created. Okay. I am creating a com.rzts.demo application. Demo app. Explicit app ID. Remember that uh, using the wildcard app ID, our push notification will not work. So we have to create uh, an explicit app ID. Okay, so we have just created uh, our app ID. So we are done with our first one. Next is uh, how to create an APNS certificate for development and distribution. Okay, let's go to certificate section and let's add a new certificate, which is a type of uh, development. We are we are uh, creating the first one for development. Uh, Apple Push Notification Service Sandbox. We have to create our app ID from here, com.rzlts.demo app, which we have just created. Okay, it will need a CSR file. Okay, how we can create a CSR file? You need to uh, navigate to Keychain Access. Okay, in Keychain Access, go to Certificate Assistant and just create request a certificate from Certificate Authority. Okay, here you can provide any any email address and the name and save it to your disk. Okay, we need to upload that uh, CSR file which we have just created. I am putting it under development folder because this is a CER file of our development only. Okay, so we have a development CER file. Now uh, let's create a new certificate the same way we have created for development. Now we are creating for production. I am creating a new folder called production and putting this file under the production folder. Okay, so we are done with uh, creating a APNS certificate for production and distribution.
now we need to uh, import those certificate just created CER files into our keychain access okay so, okay I am first importing my CER file just double click on it it will open up into the keychain automatically now do the same for production okay we have both uh, production and <coughs> development uh, certificates into our keychain now so we are done with uh, step number three as well now we have to uh, export it as a p12 file so for that uh, find your uh, certificates over here okay so these are our certificate one is for development and one is for production we need to export those as a p12 file just right click on it and you will find the export option okay this is for development so i'm putting it under a development folder uh, it will ask to have uh, some password so i'm keeping it uh, simple which is uh, rzlts for now okay this password will require at the time of creating a pem file and this is just your login password the account you are using for your macbook or mac mini now i am doing the same thing for production exporting it and i will put under the production folder giving the same password which is, which is rzlts okay so now we have uh, p12 files as well so we are done with step number four as well now step number five is to create a PEM file from the generated P12 files. Okay, so uh, here is the command to generate a PEM file. Okay, so let's redirect to our development folder. Uh, our P12 file name is certificates.p12. This is the outcome of uh, our p12 file which is certificates.pem I am giving two different names uh, certificates dev.pem and certificates production.pem file okay. Now open up uh, this folder with uh, terminal okay, and just paste the command this will ask the password which is rzlts for us okay so here we have a, a pem file for our development and we do the same thing for production okay so here it is we have a production pem file and development pem file so we are done with uh, step number five as well now we need to uh, create a new app in a rzlts portal okay, so here it is console.rzlts.com just log in with your affiliate account and go to navigate to uh, add an app okay. rzlts demo app my package name package name was this fidcom.rzlts.demo application we are doing it for ios application category you can select any application mode i will select a test as of now because we are developing it right now okay so pm file for live environment i will go to production folder and select that pm file okay and for pm file for test mode that is going to be our development mode okay so we are selecting a development pm file for that and agreeing to terms and conditions and just saving it okay so we have just created an application using the pm file Okay, so this is how we can create a PEM file and how we can upload it to our RZLTS, RZLTS portal. Thank you for watching.